Hey what's up everybody I hope you all are doing absolutely fine this is Rudraditya and this is nothing phone one and in this video today we are going to talk about its new update which we got last night and let me show you so in systems you can check system update and here is the change log as you can see and uh, while setting up the phone everyone got an update but now here is the first update after using the phone so in new features they have introduced experimental Tesla control features well we cannot check that in India because we don't have Tesla in India and agar hota bhi to mere paas to nahi hi hota anyway <laughs> introduced experimental NFT gallery widget we will check that and in the last one we heard your feedback on the beta launcher the search bar on the home screen is now optional well it's optional because right now you can't customize the search bar on the home screen so now I will check that after the update because see we can you know customize and remove these things from the home page but not the search bar so we will check that after the update and now there are a lot of change logs for camera improvements like glyph fill light is now available in portrait mode as well so let me show you uh, in portrait mode we don't have glyph light right so in only photo mode we have glyph light where you can see this but not in portrait so they have introduced that then they improved clarity and reduced noise when taking you know taking photos in low light environments they also improved the dynamic range when taking photos in low light environments very impressive at least on papers and then improved photo clarity when using the ultra wide camera and they also improved color consistency across the main and ultra wide sensors because basically what i noticed that the main sensor produce good amount of you know colors but when you take photos from ultra wide you know it tends to take a bit you know um, faded photos so we will check that and in bugs fixes and performance optimization you will get some updated android security patch to july of course so now it's on uh, july security patch and then they fixed a lock screen bug that would sometimes hide the fingerprint icon and exactly that's very true well I also faced this bug a lot of times whenever I try to unlock my phone from the lock screen I noticed that the fingerprint icon is disappeared and then I have to use my pin to unlock the phone so I hope that they actually fix this update for real but let's wait and watch okay so right now it's working absolutely fine but yeah this bug is uh, available in this phone and also improve the reliability of the glyph interface plus battery life optimization when device is on standby i mean they improve the battery life we will check that in the review and then they improved face unlock performance and also general bug fixes the update size is 117 mb as you can see now let me download this straight away and then i can tell you that what changes we have especially in the camera improvements all right so my update is installing at the moment and i want to show you one more thing in video recording mode in camera application if you want to turn on recording light indicator then you have to do it from here okay but after the update we are going to see some changes we will we can actually access the you know record light indicator from here i will show you that after the update right now if i will press the record button then this red light will blink and to access to actually turn that off and on we will get a you know dedicated icon here i will show you that after the update all right guys so i have downloaded this update and now it's time to restart my device to install this update and then we will check all the differences and improvements which we have got in this update all right so let's straight away check camera and a bit different interface so in portrait now we have glyph light as you can see and as i said that we have now we have now this you know recording light indicator is on you can see system update successful okay so now we have this recording light indicator is off and if i will turn on this then it's on right and if i will press record and now it's blinking but if i will press this off and then if i will start recording then it won't blink as you can see so that's very good that we have the access here in the interface itself not now we don't have to go into the settings like this so that's really cool and also we have now glyph light for portrait so if we want to you know take closer portrait source then this glyph light may help us so that's also good and let's see google search bar is it now customizable okay guys so i realized that we cannot still customize the search bar like we can remove but we can remove it entirely 
we cannot change the position and also we cannot you know adjust the size of that search bar so i hope that nothing will actually give us the option to do that because i generally prefer the search bar on the top of the home screen but we have either we can remove or we can just add in the dock so that's you know not that cool you know so i mean please nothing if you are listening give us the option to customize the search bar as well and you know what i already checked the camera of nothing phone one friends all over nuraj have the same phone so he updated his phone and i didn't update my phone at that time so we have clicked the you know same photos at the same time from one updated phone and one non updated phone to check the differences and now here are the photo samples you can see by yourself that how much difference we actually got in the practical life usage all right so here are the photo samples of before the update and after the update and both photos are taken at the same time to get the best possible results and you know if you like frankly speaking there is not any difference at all i mean you can't you know differentiate that which one is which i mean if i will not tell you that this is after the update and this is before the update well improvements are very minor i don't think that there is any improvement at the first place but there are some differences here and there but it's not that you know after the update the phone camera has become better well selfie camera is still very bad and it needs improvement hopefully we will get the you know change log for camera for selfie in the next update we're well, talking about the low light source then in the first photo you can see some difference of colors but then in this photo you just can't you know differentiate anything and even in ultra wide the you know noise level the dynamic range and everything is looking absolutely same in the last photo this photo i can see the difference of white balance and i'm liking the photo which is taken before the update but you know apart from that there is not much of a difference in camera quality so guys that's it from today's video now talking about you know battery life and about other bugs if i will encounter anything you know in the upcoming days then i will make sure to include all those things in my review video of this update and if you're not in hurry then i guess you should wait and you should not download this update straight away first wait for my review and then you can make your decision but so far it's looking very stable and everything is working fine well guys that's it from today's video if you liked what you watched then definitely smash the like button and share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i will see you very soon in my next video until then bye bye take care